Taking this message around for about three weeks now. Praise the Lord. Every time I go to church, I feel like, well, maybe I get to preach it tonight. <coughs> Never happened. I feel like I got to get it off my chest tonight. Amen. Come on, let it go. It's in Luke. Some of the scriptures here. It's in Luke chapter ten. I'm gonna start at verse twenty-five. Got several scriptures wrote down to go to. I don't know how many of them he'll let me. When he laid this on my heart, he sent me to these scriptures. I don't know if all of them will come out, some of them, or maybe even more, maybe different ones. I don't know what he's got in mind. But anyway, Luke chapter 10, verse 25 says, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? Yeah. And he answered and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and, with, and thy neighbors, neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. Come on. But he willing to justify himself. Well, there's a lot of that goes around, ain't there? Amen. Said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jer Jericho, fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he, when he was at that place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. My question to you tonight, I'm off. where do you stand in this category? Yeah. Where do you stand as a Christian? I'm, I'm talking to the Christians tonight. I'm off. Where do you stand in yeah. this category? Are you like the priest? That when you see somebody down and out, that you just kick them and, and, or, or go on by them and don't want nothing to do with them? I'm all. Are you like the Levite, which is just a little bit under the priest? Yeah. At least the Levite did look at him. Yeah. Did take time enough to stop and look at him. Yeah. Or are you like the good Samaritan and show compassion on them? Come on, bro. And stop and pick them up and help them on their, to get back up on their feet instead of kicking them the rest of the way down. Come on, man. And I'm talking about Christian people to Christian people. Yeah, amen. amen. I can kind of understand lost people putting Christian people down, but I don't understand Christian people putting Christian people Come down. Come on, amen. I don't understand it. it happens every day. Amen. Happens every, right, happens right in your church houses. Yeah. <clears throat> don't understand it but it's not up for me to understand but to me they got a problem and they need to come down and straighten it out come on amen verse 34 says and went to him and bound bound up his wound poured in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and, and took care of him and on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him. And whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? The Bible says to him that knoweth to do, to do good and doeth it not is a sin. Amen. So if you see someone down and out, whether and, and I, I get so tired of people just wanting to help Christian people. Yeah. Just wanting to help the ones that is on this way. It's our job to help everybody Come in on. need if we can at all. Amen. If we can at all. It's our job to help anybody in need. 
Go with me to 1 Corinthians 13 and 1. It says, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Yeah. You can do everything. You can do even go out and cast out demons or whatever. But if you don't have charity, yeah. you have nothing. Amen. See, it's the love of God that's going to get us in. You know, that's how we know that we're born again is because, because we love our brother. Tells us that back over there in 1 John. And you know, we love him because he first loved us. And to me, that is an example set for us. You know, it's not me and my four, like most preachers, mo most people, not just preachers, but most people, most Christians think. It's not me and my four. It's you know, it's got to be all about. It's got to be Jesus Christ, and not, not me. Amen. And you know, and that's what I. He was showing me some stuff over there when I was down. And I'm going to need your prayers, people. Come on. I'm going to need your prayers. I'll just tell you up front. There's some things that, that i got to work on, but there's also some things that he showed me that he's gonna, that I'm going to do with, if I'm obedient to him. If I'm obedient to him and follow what he, his instructions. Come on. But I'm gonna need your prayers to, to be able to be obedient to him in some of this stuff when it comes to, when it comes about. Verse two says, "Though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing." That's just what I just said. First, go with me to John. John 13 and 34. It says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. It's all about love. If we, if we don't have the love of God in our hearts, we're in trouble. Amen. We're in trouble right now if we don't have the love of God in our hearts. Amen. There's no better place to get that love of God than right down here. Amen. Chapter 14, verse 6 says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. No other way through to heaven except through Jesus Christ. Amen. And when you get Jesus Christ in your heart, then let him fill it, fill it up with love. Yeah. And when he fills it up with love, then you'll be like the Good Samaritan was. Amen. And when someone needs help, <coughs> You'll reach out to them. You know, I was told a long time ago when you reach, when 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 God's got a hold of your hand when you're down, and God's got a hold of your hand pulling you up, reach down and grab a hold of somebody else's, Come on. Amen. because chances are somebody else needs to be pulled up that that down farther than what you are, Come on. and they need to be pulled up. Bring them up with you. Yeah. Amen. The main thing we need to make sure. And we're born again. Amen. People's trying to get in every way they can. People's trying to buy their way in. People's trying to... Uh, I've seen them just tell them to sign a book. Yeah. Check the preacher's hand. Yeah. In a service once, we, we were singing once a few years back, and, and three of them come up. And all they had to do was check the preacher's hand. 
And that, you're right, brother. I've seen that too. It takes more than jumping over a coat. Come on. It takes more than somebody coming back and grabbing you by the hand and bringing you to the altar. Yeah. It takes the drawing power of the Holy Ghost. Holy That's right. It's what it takes. Amen. And you're not going to get in any other way. Amen. Other than through His drawing power. Amen. And the blood of Christ is what's going to take you. What's going to hit What's going to get you. And I'm done. When your mind goes blank, you're done. So I'm done. If uh, somebody get a song, get an altar call song, altar song, cause I, I'm gonna, I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna go pray again. Praise the Lord. So if somebody get a song, I'm gonna go pray. <laughs>